So I got Thumper here all warmed up. We're gonna be making Dan's rapier today. I know it's been a while, Dan, but I have not forgotten ya. Let me go get the hot steel. Oh yes, hot steel. Just gonna thin this out a little bit. That. And now we'll straighten her up a little bit going this way on the dice. We haven't had this hammer for long. But I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. That's very nice, Dan. This is coming for you, mate. Yeah. So I'm just gonna work this handle in a little more here. I think I'm gonna cross the dice here a bit. Got it. Eventually I'm gonna need to bring this to the round. So first I'll bevel the edges. Right. Start rocking this back and forth. Working out a bit of the bevels here. Just trying to get things nice and straight. Get the bevels nice and straight. Oh, lots of people say that working these bevels in by hand is superior because it increases the grain strength. It makes the grain better. I don't know about all that, but it sure is a lot of fun. So, I still need to hilt this, put the fittings on. Maybe a little bit more polishing, but the sword is now ready to go. Oh, hello there. Oh, hello here. Uh, yeah, I like your rapier. That's very nice. Yes, for the, for the fencing. Yeah. It's hey, Dan. Dan. Nice rapier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice bigger. It's, it's Let's hit it with this. All right. Here, you lay it across the uh, anvil. All right, here. All right you hold you on to that thing. Like I'll hold it real tight. Don't worry, Dan, it's very flexible. It's It'll, gonna be great. This Watch will probably this. bounce back up like this. Yes, yes. Whoa! Whoa! No, no, we wouldn't do that. No. It's pokey, but not too pokey. Hey, you don't that. want to be too pokey. Yeah, see, because look. Ah! No blood. That's what it takes. All the hammering, the grinding, the potion, all that to make a rapier. Mine's bigger. Dragon's Smithy! Dragon's Smithy!